Hey guys, here's the new PowerHD DS-090M servo. I was really impressed with this servo. I've, I've gone through a bunch of servos looking for uh, strong, fast servos that are affordable. And I think I found the perfect combination of, of specifications here. I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison and show you a few of the details about this servo. And hopefully you'll like what you see. All right, the first thing that I wanted to demonstrate is uh, servo speed. And I'm comparing the PowerHD DS-090M uh, against a high-tech HS5625MG. The reason I've selected the high-tech, this particular servo, is that I've used this servo in similar size planes for a while with good luck. Um, it's had good specifications and so I wanted to compare the Power HD uh, with a servo that I knew was working well to begin with. Uh, the first test we're going to do is speed and you'll see when I move up and then do a full sweep from up to down or down to up um, the speed of each servo. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and slow this down when I do the editing and that should reveal which one is faster but even from this test I've, I've put on some extensions so you can see uh, the speed more exemplified. So I'll go ahead and start in the down position. And you can see the Power HD servo has a pretty decent jump on the high tech. Okay, the next test that I wanted to show you guys is the centering ability of each servo. Uh, if you look at the servos now where the guides line up with the, the lines, uh, they are both just slightly below the graph lines in the back. And this will give you a, um, a reference point to see if it centers in the, the same position or not. Um, again, I was very surprised to see the Power HD perform as well as it does. Um, both servos center very well and I've, I've never had any complaints with the 5625s but as you will see moving up and letting it drop and moving it down and letting it drop um, the Power HD servo centers in just about exactly the same position that it began while the high tech tends to drift a little bit to the position it was last in so we start on the low side it's a little lower on the line than it was before. And now if we go high, it'll even back up. While the Power HD on the right has the same spacing pretty parallel to the line, whether it's in the up or down position. Again, excellent performance in this arena as well. Also a quick test just to take a look at resolution. Um, starting in the up position and slowly drifting down, you'll see that both servos are have good resolution. Okay, the last test that I wanted to do is to test the torque of each servo. And the way that I've set this up is to start with both arms parallel, um, 90 degrees. And um, I'm going to set a weight on the one inch mark of each of these servos. For the Power HD, it's the last hole. And for the high tech, it's the second to last hole. That's one inch from the center. Um, and again, I think you're going to be impressed with what you see by the Power HD uh, DS090M. So we're going to go ahead and start with that one. Um, what I've done is I've got a bucket of bolts here, some pretty large bolts. The bucket currently weighs 3 pounds 8 ounces as a starting point. And I'm going to hook this onto the Power HD servo. And then what I want to do is test these to see when the servo is unable to lift the load. Uh, rather than actually stall it and, and pull it down because I don't want to end up damaging the servo as I would like to do further tests and flight tests with these. 
um, if I can get this locked in here. All right, so we're gonna begin at three pounds, eight ounces. Each of these bolts weighs about five ounces, five, uh, 5.4 ounces. So we'll move up and you can see the high, uh, the power HD can still lift it. Let's add one bolt, still lifts, two bolts, still lifts, three bolts, still lifts, four bolts, still lifts, a little hesitation, five bolts, still lifts, six bolts, still lifts, seven, stopped at seven. Let's get that weight off of there. And I'm gonna weigh this real quick. And that comes out to five pounds, 14 ounces. So I'm gonna take seven bolts back out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we're back to the original starting point. We'll hook this on to the high-tech servo on the second guide, the second pole. All right, there's our starting point. Lifts, but slowly. One. It's already stalled. One. Barely pulled it out there if I started with some down momentum first. So really was only able to do one extra bolt from the original starting point. So the final weight on this three pounds, 13.6 ounces. So as you can see, the Power HD also had a ton more uh, torque than the high tech. So again, in recap, the Power HD was quicker, it had better centering, the resolution seemed about equal, and the torque was quite a bit stronger. If uh, you have any questions, let me know. It seems pretty obvious to me that the Power HD has a, a pretty big upper hand, especially when considering the price.